Today marks four years since the murder of Elizabeth Barraza, the tomball wife who was shot and killed in her driveway while setting up for a garage sale. Yeah, we talked to her parents earlier this week about their fight to find her killer. And tonight, Grace White is now sitting down exclusively with Barraza's husband about what life is like for him four years later. Grace? Sergio Barraza told us he's only watched the surveillance video of his wife's killing once to see if he could recognize the killer. He knows in many people's mind he is a suspect, but he says he's done everything he can to help investigators solve the case. Do you think it's a case that can be solved? I, I want it to be. Um, I don't know how they're going to do it. I just hope that they do do it. Sergio Barraza's wife, Elizabeth Barraza, was murdered on January 25th, 2019. Tell us about Liz. Liz was amazing. She was so f fun to be with. She was so just genuine and happy. It was amazing being with her and it was like a fairy tale that we we had together. He still has the Harry Potter suitcase she packed for their fifth anniversary trip to Orlando. It's just a little time capsule of how happy she was. The I couple was set to leave town just days after the 29 year old's killing. Take us back to that day. What do you remember? I remember getting the trigger on my my phone, the alarm system and just being like, what's What's going on? This is weird. Uh, Liz was having a garage sale in the driveway of her Tomball home, and the killer was captured on surveillance video, arriving minutes after Sergio left for work, walking up to Liz in what appears to be a disguise, firing three shots at a fourth one after she was down. Tell us about the garage sale. There's been a lot of focus on that. Who knew about the garage sale? The only people that I know knew about the garage sale was uh, some of her co-workers, um, myself, uh, her parents, and I think my mom. The other clue investigators have, the getaway truck. Also captured on video, a black Nissan Frontier, seen in the neighborhood hours before and driving back by after the shooting. If I would have known it was the last night, I would have done so much more. You know, I would have held her longer. I would have said so much. There's been a lot of online speculation. You remarried within two years of the murder. People wonder, did you have anything to do with Liz's death? I did not. Um, I know, I know um, that I'm like the prime suspect in most people's eyes. Uh, I know that people want to immediately say it was the husband who did it. Um, I understand that. Um, but it's just, you had to know Liz and I, you had to um, see us, you know? I, I still love her to this day. I found Amber, like about, it was about a year and a half after Liz passed away. Amber had lost her sister and this just, we just connected. Do you feel like you and Amber have been unfairly targeted? I've always been an open book for the police, um, and I know Amber has as well. We both have gone through polygraphs. How do you, at the end of the day, make sense of Liz's murder? I honestly can't make sense of it. It, it just doesn't make sense. It's like I'm living in a totally al alternate reality from what I was supposed to. I, I drive by the house every so often, looking at the life I could have had. Sergio says one of the reasons he does interviews is to encourage people to call in tips. The reward is $50,000 at Crime Stoppers. He had a lot more to say and we'll have his extended interview up shortly on KHOU 11 plus. It was good to finally hear from him. Hopefully something will come up now, some type of clue, some type of lead. Everyone's hoping so. Absolutely. Grace, thank you.